What's up YouTube? Back again with some Mi Box finishing touches. In this video I'm going to show you how to add storage, speed up, and navigate your Mi Box with ease. Stick around. Welcome back to Kelly Tech. Before I get started with this video, please consider subscribing. Every little bit helps the channel. So, Mi Box tips and tricks. There's a lot of little things you can do to make your Mi Box experience better. Um, for one, you can expand your hard drive. Pretty simple. I'll explain that. Um, another one would be if you have a nice remote and you don't want the keyboard in your face all the time, you know, the on-screen keyboard, you can get rid of that. And that actually helps a lot when you're using a third-party remote. And another good thing you can get is a USB hub because, unfortunately, the Mi Box only has one USB port. But... USB hubs are cheap and they're easy to get. That way you can hook in a remote, you can hook in a hard drive. Um, sky's the limit really. Let's talk about expansion. I had a subscriber the other day ask me a question. Wanted to know if he could just plug in his hard drive to watch movies on his Mi Box. And yeah, you can totally do that. For instance, I'm going to plug, I have an ADATA 64 gig USB drive I'm going to plug in. So if you have a drive that has some uh, videos, content that you want to watch, you can do this. Preparing ADATA USB drive. See how it's got a one up there in the top right hand corner? That won't go away until you you can exit out. So don't do this though. Set up as device storage. If you do that, it'll format your drive and everything on it will disappear. So if you just want to plug a drive in that has some movies on it, then you just go to the one, go over to the X, and you're all set. I like VLC, so let's just go over to VLC. See how it says, new external storage detected. Do you want VLC to add device a data 64 to your media library? Click yes. So video, audio, and you can browse. So these are the videos that I have on my hard drive. Make sure this thing ain't cranked up. And there you go. See, easy peasy. You can just watch your media right from VLC. And the audio. I only have one track on here, so... And that's, you know, playing an MP3 for you. So that's my music folder. So, 
there's an easy way to watch your content real quick. And if you would like to expand your drive, make your onboard drive, you know, larger, because it's only, let me see, storage and go to storage and reset. Yeah, it's only five and a half gigs. So, if you wanted to add some room to it, you could go to 8 out of 64 or whatever your drive is called. Erase and format as device storage. Click that. Format is giving you a warning. You're about to erase everything on your drive. And this is going to take a minute. A data 64 is now formatted. So now your drive is part of your onboard storage. So it's asking you if you want to move some of your files over to the drive to make, you know, room for that five and a half gigs so it can run better. So you can go to move now. migrated data so now you'll have you'll just have a lot more room like you know if you go to uh, one of your streaming apps like uh, cinema HD or TTV a lot of them have a download feature like in cinema here you go to downloads here whatever you've downloaded will be in there so you can watch that movie at any time with no buffering because you downloaded it uh, and that was about a gig you know so potentially you could you could pit, fit around I don't know 50 60 movies on here if you have got all 720p's on a you know 60 gig drive compared to 5 gigs which you can put a movie or two on there and your machine's not running good anymore so kinda turns it into a media powerhouse you know so now let's get rid of the on-screen keyboard for those of you with a third-party uh, remote you know what I'm talking about when you're trying to navigate or put in a URL or anything like that, that on-screen keyboard pops up and just kind of makes everything twice as difficult. But you can get rid of it. It's really not that difficult. Let's go over to Puffin TV. Go to search and type URL. And put in this URL. Once you have this URL typed in, hit select. It'll bring you to the APK Pure website. And the APK we're looking for is called Null Keyboard. So just hit the green download. Started downloading. So it's back out of here. Go down to start page. Go to downloads. And here it is, null keyboard. Select that. Install. And done. So now we're done with that, we can back out of here. Alright, let's go over to settings. Alright, so let's go down to keyboards. Go to manage keyboards. And look for null keyboard. And turn that on.
Alright, so now we can back on out of here. Now once you've done that, go up to current keyboard and then select null keyboard. And that's it. So let's back out of here. Now, for instance, like when you go to Puffin to type in a URL, you don't have the stupid keyboard popping up down there at the bottom. Nice and easy. So that will help you out if you have a third party remote. It's a beautiful thing. It used to drive me crazy with that big thing popping up constantly. You're trying to hit enter and it you know hits a letter and you have to backspace and uh, it's a pain. So that's how you fix that. And last but not least a USB hub. I'll leave a link in the description below. They're fairly cheap and if you want to hook up more than one USB device at a time it's a must. Like say you wanted to use a small USB drive for expanding your onboard memory storage and then you wanted to have one to put movies on and media and then you wanted to plug in a third party remote well you'd have to have a USB hub so I'll leave the link in the description below for one of those well I hope this was informative I know it's helped me out through the years once again guys if you enjoyed this video please subscribe thank you for watching and as always have a tech day